welcome back on this Saturday afternoon. A gorgeous view over at the Mackinac Bridge. It is a very pretty day across the UP with some sunshine. We've seen some cloud cover increase across portions of the central and the west end of the UP, but that's basically it. So as we look over the next coming days, the heat and the humidity ramps up. The days of concern, Sunday through Tuesday with Monday reaching the peak. And then the pattern next week actually remains unsettled. There is a severe weather risk for Monday extending into Tuesday. So let's dive in. This is tomorrow. We start to notice those temperatures increase a little bit more so with a lot of those mid 80s and interior areas and a few upper 80s still in the 70s along the shorelines of the Great Lakes. Here's the pattern, the setup. The jet stream pattern brings in this big ridge of high pressure that's starting to move in right now and it settles right over us for the coming days. The green, that's all of the moisture that's going to be riding in with that ridge. That's what's going to lead the oppressive conditions we'll have on Monday and Tuesday. And then by the end of next week, it moves out with this trough replacement across the Great Lakes, which will bring in some drier and less humid air. But dew point temperatures with that humidity on Monday will be in the lower 70s. That's just downright tropical, what you expect down in the southern states. Now, when we combine that, it's going to feel hotter than this. This is Monday. We're expecting a few low 90s in interior areas with a lot of upper 80s, even some 80s along the shorelines of the Great Lakes for Monday afternoon. Combining the heat, the humidity, we will have heat indices ranging around the lower to mid 90s. That's what it will feel like outside and maybe some areas could feel like the upper 90s when we factor it all in together Monday afternoon. Now we have the heat, we have the humidity. We will have some sunshine as well on Monday. That's why we're showing you this. This is CAPE, Convective Available Potential Energy. You can see a lot of red here, red here right across the interior areas of the UP for Monday afternoon and evening. This is around 2,000 joules of per kilogram across the UP of energy that is going to be accessible for some potential strong to severe thunderstorms, which is why the Storm Prediction Center has issued a marginal risk, a level one, for the central and the west end of the EP for the potential of a few isolated strong to severe storms. That big severe weather risk will be in western Wisconsin and over into Minnesota, but we definitely still have the potential for some of those storms to be strong to severe with some hail as well as some strong and damaging winds along with some heavy rain. Downpours of an inch to about two inches possible. Start Starting off with a few scattered rain showers early Monday morning, but the threat we're really looking out for will be from Monday evening. This is 7 p.m. as some storms fire up. This is when we have that peak heating, hot, humid air mass around. That's when we could have some strong to severe storms. There's a second round of thunderstorms that rolls in by Tuesday morning. Not thinking this one will be severe, but definitely going to have a lot of more of that moderate to heavy rain around to kick off Tuesday morning. Here's a look at your extended forecast. We're still keeping the rain potential around for Monday as well as Thursday and into next week. Now, after that certain disturbance moves through, we'll notice some cooler air moves in. So we will have more seasonal conditions for Wednesday and as we round out the rest of next week. But again, starting off hot, humid for Monday and into Tuesday with that severe weather potential. Rainfall amounts will be the highest across the western and the central areas of the UP could push up to two inches. Well, there you go. Should be a nice uh, end of the week. She will, yeah. All right. Thanks.